How many times I introduced my tastings, uh, presenting Barolo, saying how fake and terrible and misplaced it was Amarone and it was never part of my wine diet. Especially when my friends from north of Europe, they were considering, they were matching the Italian wine tradition with Amarone, they used to be, historically, in the last, at least in the last 30 years, 95% of the Amarone is exported. We don't drink Amarone in Italy. Amarone is considered kind of a fake wine, forced wine. This is what is the average. It used to be the average, especially in the 90s. There is a part of a video that I didn't put about um, the producer here. and It was a bit too long, but he was actually describing the ages of the Amarone. You know? like in the 90s, it was all about overfruity, mainly following one producer called Romano dal Forno. Now they are, we are getting back to an Amarone that is slightly lighter in the consistency, so maybe not over ripe. And first of all, located Verona, northeast of Italy, Veneto, where beautiful, uh, potentially beautiful wine production. The grape variety is a blend of different grape variety, mainly based on two that is Corvina and Corvinone. You also have Molina, Molinara, Oseletta, but it's not really important. And uh, it's a grape variety that uh, it is uh, harvested. And then they dry the grape in, uh, in warehouses for more than uh, 90 up to 120 days. And then they make the wine. Usually this is the procedure of a sweet wine, a dessert wine. And uh, in this case it's a dry version. There is a lot of mythology of how Amarone uh, was uh, discovered. And someone says, it's like a Guinness, you know, the, the, the beer, yeah, possibly by mistake. One of the stories, 1945, uh, the winemaker was on war, and so uh, it happened that the fermentation didn't stop. So they said that the fermentation didn't stop because probably there was a yeast coming from the U.S. Nobody knows it for sure. There was more resistant or higher percentage of alcohol. So what was a sweet wine was transformed in a dry version of it called Amarone. Amarone means bitter. No, this wine is a bit amaroon. That's, no, the mythology says. And so it became this wine that is, um, of course, sweeter than most of the reds, but drier than a dessert wine. At the beginning, as far as I remember, they told me Amarone came out on the market like a second level. You know, there was the Recciotto della Valpolicella and Amarone, like a cheaper type of wine. Now it seems to be the opposite. No, it's not the opposite because it's still ricciotto is expensive, but no, Amarone is more common and famous than the, the ricciotto. Uh, in the 90s, you have to consider that the higher concentration and more fruit was strongly infected, affected the market by the, by the American market. The American market was starting to propose wines that are a bit more bolder, higher in alcohol. The idea was to challenge the idea of elegance of the French wines. So Amarone was introducing this new trend and made a lot of success especially in north of Europe. I don't know why, because I, I, all my you know, Norwegian, Swedish friends, uh, Danish friends, when they come seeing here in my tastings, I love Amarone. Uh, I, I don't know what actually made Amarone so famous in north of Europe, maybe because it's a really cold place there, <laughs> so having a wine that is 16% in alcohol, which is this one here. Bao, can you tell me that I always thought that Brigaldara was a completely different story. Brigaldara makes wines that are, even if you see the video, they, are, they, they actually say it. Are, it's a different approach to wine production there. They make wines. My favorite is Monte dei Ragni. The problem of Monte dei Ragni, I might put it in the Collector's Wine Club. It's impossible to find. I reserve the Monte dei Ragni for the next uh, two years when it's coming up because everything is reserved. He makes only less, 700 bottles. And, uh, but Brigaldara just come next to it. And I think that there are somehow uh, even Calabionda it makes a good wine. And th their wines are not so fruity. They have a balsamic finish. They are completely different from the usual Amarone. Of course, this is the end of a meal type of wine. You know, forget it about summer. Outside and inside the house cannot be warmer than like in 18 degrees. It means like in 65, 70 degrees. And uh, you have to have it with some, uh, uh, with some stew maybe, again with some meat with some hard cheese, pecorino, pecorino, some salty cheese.